The New York Knicks are streaking again. They've won four straight games, and on Monday, they will play their 41st game of the season. So let's assess where the Knickerbockers are at the halfway point of the NBA season. We will do that with New York Post sports reporter Peter Body, who joins me now. Peter, been a while since I've seen you. How you doing? I'm doing fine, Dexter. How about yourself? I am doing well. Now, if you're the Knicks or you're a Knicks fan, it's been a pretty roller coaster ride recently, right? Eight game winning streak, then a five game losing streak. Now they've won four in a row. So, pretty up and down. But, Peter, the first round of fan all star votes, they came in last week, and neither Julius Randle or Jalen Brunson were voted in the top 10 of front court or back court players. Should either Nick or both be an all star this season? I, I think they're both deserving, Dexter, but I think it's it's going to be, come down to a numbers game in the Eastern Conference. I do think they'll get one, but I don't think they're both going to make it. Uh, when you look at the starters in the Eastern Conference, you have Kyrie Irving and Donovan Mitchell in the backcourt. You have um, you have Giannis, Joel Embiid, and KD in the front court, and then you add Tatum and Jalen Brown from the Celtics. That's I mean, right there, you know, that's that's seven players. Uh, who are almost certainly going to make the team. So really, you only have five spots left for the rest of for the rest of the conference. And I think these guys are going to be competing with players like Drew Holiday, Trey Young, DeMar DeRozan, even James Harden in the backcourt, and then obviously uh, Pascal Siakam, Bam Adebayo, people like that in the frontcourt. Um, so I, I think it's going to be tough for both of them to make it. I think, I mean, I think Brunson has impacted winning with the Knicks with them having a 22 and 18 record and entering Monday's game. I think he's impacted winning the most, but I also think that Randall is clearly back to the player that he was two years ago. So I, I do think one of them will make it, but I think it'll be tough to get them both on the squad. Both of those players having a very strong season and a young player who's starting to have a pretty good season is Quentin Grimes. He continues to produce especially during this recent winning streak. Have you been more impressed with the second-year guard's growth offensively or defensively? Well, obviously, Grimes came with the reputation of being a, a defensively sound player. Um, he's contributed some on offense since he's been starting uh, since late November. Uh, but to me, like, you look at Tom Thibodeau and his, you know, his uh, accent on, on, defensive, uh, on defensive play, and he's now using Grimes – in all different situations. I mean, he, he'd have him guard somebody like John Morant, a speedy point guard. And the other night in Toronto, he has him guarding for much of the game, Pascal Siakam, a big muscular 6'8 power forward. So Grimes now is giving you uh, almost on a nightly basis, um, you know, big play at the defensive end. And I, and I think that's been a huge key in them, uh, you know, in them winning, you know, 12, 13 games in the last month or so. Yeah, very impressive since he's returned to the team in the starting lineup. And lastly, Peter, when the Knicks play the Bucks on Monday, it's going to be game number 41. Are the Knicks where you thought they would be at the halfway point of the season? And if you had to give them a grade for the first half, what grade would you give the Knickerbockers? I think I pegged them right around 500, so they're a few games over. So I guess I give them a little higher boost. I mean, maybe they're, you know, a, a B-plus for what I expected. I mean, obviously they're not as good as the top five teams in the East, Um as of as of right now but i mean they're now they're above the 710 play in which i don't think many people predicted them to be uh let's see i think it's a big test for them uh, against the bucks tomorrow let's see how they handle Giannis. um obviously chris middleton is still out um but the bucks are one of the upper echelon teams in the east and i think the knicks it's a it's a good test for them tomorrow night on monday night yeah definitely a good test for the knicks we'll see how they do in their 41st game of the season they're right at the halfway point, so much more to go in the NBA season, including trades. All that talk, Peter Body will have you covered around with the Knicks on that. Peter, always good to talk to you, and thank you for the time. Thanks, Dexter. Have a good night. You too.